Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to talk about matrices in this video and many to come. So, we're going to explain what matrices are, we're going to explain how matrices are used, we're going to explain how we add matrices, subtract matrices, multiply matrices, how to find the inverse of a matrix, and essentially how to find, how to use matrices to solve systems of linear equations. So here's an example. We have two equations, 2x plus 3y equals 7, 3x minus 2y equals 4, and of course since those, that's a system of linear equations, we're supposed to be able to manipulate these to find the x and y value that satisfies both equations, which then becomes the solution to that system of linear equations. Well, matrices can be used to do the very same thing. And so you can see here in this particular case that this matrix here has the numbers which are equal to the coefficients of the two variables x and y. So we have 2x plus 3y, and here we have the 2 and 3. Here we have 3x minus 2y, we have 3 and a minus 2. So here this matrix has in it the coefficients of the x and y variables in the system of linear equations. Also notice, since there's two equations, there's going to be two rows, so the number rows equals the number of equations in the system, and the number of columns represents the number of variables. So the first column represents the variable x, and the second column represents the variable y. Now in this matrix, we do not have the constants on the other side of the equal sign, but sometimes we write what we call an augmented matrix. An augmented matrix is also a matrix that includes the constants on the right side of the equal sign in our system of linear equations. So, again, number of rows equals number of equations, number of columns equals the number of variables. Also notice that this is called a two by two matrix. It means there are two rows and two columns. So the rows comes first and then the columns come second. Two by two matrix is equal to a two row matrix and a two column matrix. And finally, if the number of rows equal the number of columns, we call that a square matrix. So this is an example of a square matrix. This would be not an example of a square matrix because it has two rows and three columns. It's called an augmented matrix. So those are the basis of matrices. What we're going to do next is talk a little bit about a little bit more about the definition of what a matrix is, what it looks like, how to term everything, and then we're going to show you how to operate on matrices, how to find the inverse of matrices, and then ultimately how to solve a system of linear equation using matrices. We will also touch upon something called determinants, which is also another method in which we can utilize something that looks like matrices to solve equations and also to solve other items, and we'll get into that as well. So, what is a matrix? It's simply a grouping with brackets around it of numbers, in this case representative of the coefficients of the variables in a system of linear equations. And so, if you're interested, stay tuned, and we'll have lots of, uh, lots of videos showing you all about what matrices are and how to use them.